is Lunary here and today I will be playing with the Holbein Artist Squash. Uh, my brother got me an 18 set for my birthday so I thought that I would swatch these babies out and give you guys a bit of a speed prank as well as tell you what I thought because I'm really excited to try these out because I haven't actually tried. First up we have Carmine, this nice deep red colour. Then next is Flame Red. Brilliant Orange. Permanent Yellow Deep. Lemon Yellow. Leaf Green. Emerald green, permanent green deep, turquoise blue, ultramarine blue, Prussian blue, violet. Magenta Yellow Ochre Burnt Umber Burnt Sienna Ivory Black And last but not least, permanent white. This should be interesting to see how it plays for like highlights and stuff. I am keen to try that out. And now the swatching begins. If you guys were wondering what kind of palette I was using, it's just a standard Mijello, um palette. I uh, previously used it for some watercolors, but I decided that I would use a different method. So. I thought why not use it for my gouache. Uh, the paper I'm using is a 200 GSM cold press cellulose paper. Uh, I just have like a huge ream of it so I usually just end up doing my swatches on there. Uh, I must say like as soon as I put down like the gouache it was like so pretty. Like I was shocked at how it behaved because I haven't actually seen many people use gouache and I was like oh damn I might actually like use this more than watercolors now and I don't know if you guys know me that well but like watercolors are almost all that I do because it's my favorite medium. I'm not sure if I'm using the gouache quite right because I come from a watercolour background and well I started watching some videos and some other people like layer it on more thickly so I don't know but I'm still happy with the results as is. Colours are very vibrant and I'm very excited to see what I can make using them. I think my favourite colours so far are the carmine and the Prussian blue. I think that the magenta and the violet have very similar colours. Um, tell me guys down in the comments below what your favourite colours out of these sets are. I'm very interested to know. back to the voiceover. So here's just a little speed paint of the first drawing I did using gouache. Um, this is my OC Nina and Mushi, the little mushroom cat. And I just thought it'd be good to show you guys how I used it and what my impressions were of it. I had a lot of fun using these paints. Yeah, definitely worth a try if you can afford them, even if you select like one or two colors, because I know 
being that they are Holbeins, they are artist quality, therefore they might not be in everyone's price range. The only reason that I was gifted them was for my birthday and I am so so grateful for that because I love them. Like they're just really pretty. They lay down a way that watercolors just don't in like their opaqueness and I really admire that in this paint and I'm so grateful that I've got them. I'm obviously going to need to play with them more because as I said I come from a watercolour background and I've seen a lot of other people like lay down the gouache thick so I'm going to have to like adjust to that but I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I think my favourite part about this uh, gouache painting is the way that I watered them down so you can still see like my pencil drawing underneath and it just gives it a nice soft look which I really like and I think the colours are nice, vibrant and I like their opaqueness. Like I have never already said that but they're so great honestly. I would recommend these to anybody that could afford them. Another thing that I want to mention about these paints is uh, mixing colours. Together they make really predictable colours so like you mix like two colours together and they typically mix together to the same as what I was expecting, so I personally think that's something really good. Uh, ignore the tapping noise, that would be my cat playing with anything and everything on my desk. I'm sorry. I typically order my art supplies from jacksonsart.com. Uh, they're a UK based art supply shop, but they're so much cheaper than I can find anywhere, especially like here in Australia. Like sometimes the things are even two or three times more cheaper. I know that's not proper English, I am sorry. Um, but yeah, so Jackson's Art's really good, not sponsored or anything. Um, I just really love the shop so much. I have saved so much money and I have seen that they've got like a starter pack on there, which is like three colors, a white and a black. So that would be a good place to start if you were interested. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think. I'll leave the link down below to Jackson's Art and you guys can check I've it. I've also made a few orders from Jackson's Art recently, so if it's a haul video you'd be interested in doing, let me da know down below. I'm probably also going to make a big order soon because, as I said, it was my birthday. So I'd like to like grab some more art supplies, probably order a bunch more of these Holbein artist quality tubes because they are amazing and I love them so much. Alrighty guys I'm going to leave it here. I hope you enjoy the rest of this speed paint. Let me know what you guys thought. Feel free to give it a like and subscribe if you felt like it. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye bye!